The Singapore Slingers is a franchise, so uh, they start off with uh, NBL in Australia. In 2005-2006, uh, uh, we moved the franchise to from Newcastle, uh, which is two hours out of Sydney, Australia, to Singapore. And I was uh, asked by the owners in Australia to uh, if I would come over and help set up the program. We have a first season there, which is uh, that's what I opened up my eyes and look at them. Uh, and learn from the lake as well. And, uh, Go! We try to run uh, between 60 and 100 uh, free clinics uh, throughout the community uh, each year, and then probably another 50 to 60 uh, charitable promotional appearances. Uh, we find that it's uh, not only good for the community, it's giving back, it's the sling is giving back to the community, but it's also good for our players. A lot of that is in, in our recruiting. Uh, when we recruit our foreign players, and we only have three, uh, we make sure we not only recruit for their talent, but uh, we, mo we make sure uh, we do back down, background checks to make sure that they'll fit in with the community. Yeah, look, the OCBC Arena um, is a fantastic facility. A lot of people, when they talk about uh, Singapore, they don't straight away, they, sport doesn't come to mind in facilities. It has everything uh, to attract major international, uh, not only uh, events, but also training camps for international teams that are travelling through this region. At this moment, we've got a good, awesome uh, fans and supporters right now with the Slingers. We have a, a fairly loyal fan base uh, that come to our games. Uh, they're, they're great supporters. Uh, we, and we're building it all the time. I think eventually we will get more and more people realising that uh, basketball is a, a great game and, and fun to watch. We love our fans and uh, of course, uh, no matter win or lose uh, back at home, I think they still really support us and keep encourage us that okay, uh, do it better the next time if let's say we lose the game. I think the ASEAN Basketball League has given uh, the national players a great platform to be exposed to good quality competition on a regular basis and we've seen go over onto the national team and, and bear fruit with the, uh, the first medal, a bronze medal in, in the last SEA Games, the first medal in 34 years. Our pre games practice basically, uh, I mean we get ourselves warm up and, uh, and uh, we will shoot Okay, as uh, per our routine, and uh, then after shooting, we will go through our opponent staff and our staff, and uh, last 10 minutes, really by themselves, see what they're going to do by themselves, like more on shooting or post move or whatever. Basically, I try to do whatever I can to motivate players itself, and uh, I always stay positive and in front of the players and do whatever I can help to really give them energy and motivate them. As I said, have eight of the national team players in our, in our roster and, and the national coach as well. And uh, so we're not only, only building in an attempt to win the ABL championship, but also for the 2015 SEA Games. And we've taken a little bit of pain, but now we're seeing the game. Everybody uh, want to get a championship is how you go and uh, do it. For me ourselves, we we'll try our very best to do whatever we can and uh, even I told the players, so long we play hard, we bring our energy and uh, because we are a running team, we want to run. So we run hard and uh, stick to our rule and our system. I think uh, I'm pretty happy with what towards the end, I think the result is an is a issue, it's a matter.